The Weld tool in the Digitize Toolbox is one of those tools you didn't know you needed until you used it. I'm Linda Goodall and in this video I'll show you how to use the Weld tool. Here's a simple piece of artwork, a rectangle with symmetrical rounded extensions on each corner. Now, wouldn't it be nice if we could just use the rectangle and circle tools, stack up the shapes and then merge them together to recreate it instead of trying to manually digitize all, all that so it was perfect? Well, we can, and that's what the Weld tool can do. So here I've got my rectangle, I've got my four circles, and all I really need to do is drag a selection around it, and from the Digitize Toolbox, I'll click Weld. And there we have our object. And if we look over here on the Objects Docker, we can see it is one object. Rectangles with rounded corners are another simple example of a shape that's not always so easy to perfect. With two rectangles, which you can see right here, and four round circles stacked in the right order, I can just combine those using the Weld tool. Click Weld. And there's our rounded corner rectangle. So let's see how Weld works with a variety of shapes and stitch types. First of all, to use the Weld tool, you have to have at least two overlapping shapes. So if I clone this and I make another one and I select those, the Weld tool is active, but they're not going to merge, but they will have some effects applied to them. They're still independent objects. We also must have at least two objects selected. Notice that I have one object selected here, but my Weld tool is not active. Now let's see what happens when we have a bunch of different stitch types. So I'll drag a selection around those, and I'll choose Weld. Notice that now they're all fill and they have this ragged or feathered edge. Notice too that they're all the same angle. So what we learned from this example is that if we select multiple different stitch types, then the stitch type that they'll end up with is the last one in the list. So this was the last one. It's still one object over here. Now we have some satin rings. Let's see what happens to those. Select those. Do weld, and they've all been welded. They still have a satin, and if I zoom in on them, you can see that they're split and the satin angle is vertical. So once you've applied weld, it's going to use the stitch effect of the last object and it's going to change it to one angle. We'll zoom back out. Let's try these circles. These are outlines with a single run. We'll try weld on that and nothing really happens. They're unwelded. Let's see what happens on an open object. So we have some satin lines over here. Drag a selection around those, choose weld, and they weld in the same manner that the satin rings did. So if we zoom in on those, we can see what's going on. While we're zoomed in, let's see if we can weld these. And no, they don't weld either. So to sum up, weld requires at least two overlapping objects that are closed and filled, closed with satin, or open with a satin border, and after welding, take on the attributes of the last object in the group, and the result is one stitch angle. So now that you have a good idea how weld works, what will you do with it?